This Kung Fu expert, wearing yellow trunks, has 15 years of training and claimed to be undefeated. At 180 pounds, he had a 15-pound advantage over my brother Hoist. The Kung Fu men will rely on strikes in order to avoid going to the ground. It is almost impossible for a person trained primarily in punches and kicks to avoid being wrapped up and taken down by a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. Hoist is determined to close the gap and take the fight to the ground. As they go to the ground, he grabs Hoist by the neck. Hoist will establish his position before getting his neck out of the hold. He repeatedly hits his opponent on the ribs, forcing the Kung Fu man to let go. He maintains the top position. The legwork of the Kung Fu representative reveals that he is not knowledgeable in the intricacies of grappling. Hoist is taking the time to study the situation and ride the opponent. At this point, Hoist could easily apply a chokehold and finish the fight, but he elected not to. There are many variables when it comes to ground fighting. Through a systematic, step-by-step -step approach, we have organized it into a science. The opponent is obviously in good shape. When Hoist applies this choke with the legs around the neck of the Kung Fu expert, he has absolute control. Instead of finishing the fight, he applies just enough pressure to prevent his opponent from getting away. He can take his time and chooses where to hit. The Kung Fu representative is totally helpless. Not only he's running out of air, but he cannot stop the blows. It's a terrifying feeling. 